Well, it is a turf war. It's unfolding in San Francisco between Rec and Park and the pickleball community. At issue are six pickleball courts at Presidio Wall Playground in the Presidio Heights neighborhood. City workers recently started painting over the courts. Pickleballers claim they're being shut out after complaints from neighbors. But as Kenny Choi shows us, they aren't giving up their courts without a fight. One zero start. Pickleball has become Lisa Shaw's passion. Good, good. They love pickleball, and these courts are the ones they want to take away. Once an avid tennis player, she's not relinquishing the courts without a fight. It's really all about the community, and when you take away six courts from a very popular place, you're splitting up a community. The Recreation and Parks Department recently put up signs saying tennis only, essentially shutting down six of the 12 pickleball courts. A Presidio Heights resident just across the street who owns a home listed for $29 million with a backyard pickleball court spearheaded an effort on change.org to shut down the public courts, complaining of noise impacting residents and wildlife. It's the middle of the day. When you live next to a playground or a park, you should expect noise. It is loud. No, no one's going to like say that it's not, right? Joe Grossman lives just down the street, too. He and dozens of pickleballers are willfully ignoring the closure signs to make a stand. I can hear it from my house, but I mean, I'm sure these guys hear it all the time, like hear it a lot louder and all the time. And, you know, it does suck about the noise, but it, just because you don't like something, you know, it doesn't mean you get to, you know, complain about it. And then at the end of the day, get your way about it. It was just dictated by Park and Rec that they were taking away our courts. So, of course, we went into an uproar. Nearby residents understand the tension, including Katie Pyle, whose father plays pickleball. He can hear the pickleball in the morning, and I know it kind of bugs him, but he loves to play pickleball. Yeah, good. Oh. Shaw says the players roll away their own nets each day and clear the space if a tennis player shows up with a reservation. But she believes by closing the courts, the city is kowtowing to a select group of wealthy residents. They should just come out and try to play. They'd probably be a lot happier. I mean, seriously, it's so good for your health. It's fun to be outside. It's a good excuse. People are nice and welcoming and um, friendly. And I'm happy to give a lesson for free. It's an act of kindness, but she won't be giving away any courts without a fight. All right, so we reached out to Holly Peterson, the homeowner who led the petition complaining about the noise and impact on wildlife. She did decline to comment. We also made multiple attempts asking for an on-camera interview with Rec and Parks Director Phil Ginsburg to explain this closure. His office only sent us this statement saying, quote, when a small residential park like Presidio Wall starts drawing 150 people on a weekend with all the accompanying noise, trash, and traffic, we have to adjust. So while moving, removing six pickleball courts at Presidio, we will be adding them in other locations to balance opportunities to play pickleball with a responsibility to limit neighborhood headaches. The players tell us they've hired a lawyer. All right, up next.